Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Julie and I want to share a project with you what I've um, done with the um, Tonic magazine um, this time round. It's num uh, issue four. Um, a really well die set. At the centrepiece is a, um, a big snowflake and these little pieces fit into there as well. But I must say I do like this piece. Um, and these ones, you can actually put them together, um, fold them in half, and then if you cut out four, and then you can stick four together and it makes them three dimensional. And then I, I um, put some ribbon down through the middle and then made a little bow to go on the front of them, and they really do look cute. You know, one of those little white tree lights that you can put like Christmas decorations on that you've made and also people use them for Easter time and things like that I made like that some for that I also made a cracker using this um because it makes a rosette so if you cut one side off of one and then cut another this side off of the other it makes it a little bit smaller um so then you can layer up and then in the centre of here there is a nice size um, snowflake and also there is um, uh, smaller ones as well and this one which comes, you, comes in two so also, that's not just what you get either So inside, just looking, making sure oh, I haven't got any bits. I've used some of my papers, so you get lots of lovely papers. I do love. Oh, I like this one. Look, it's beautiful. That one, and there's a pale blue version of that as well, which I've I've used most of that. It's sort of this colour here. Let me see if I can find it. I think I did have some left if I put it back in here. No, not that one. Oh, and there's toppers in here as well. There's all sorts. No, that's the same, that's the same one, isn't it? It must be this one. Yes, because that's all I've got left. That one. I love that one. So, and... You've got um, a stencil as well and some stamps which I have used as well. I've used that stamp there and I um, can't think of the word. Sentiments, that's it. Some sentiments on there as well. But there is um, so much to play with in there and so much inspiration inside the magazine it's lovely so um yeah i made the bubbles i made a card and um because i'm a collector <laughs> or should i say a crafter I've got um, a cracker die as well, so I made a cracker with and with that rosette die and made a centerpiece to go on top of that. But I also done um, this. Now I don't drink, so I had to ha ask somebody to save their bottles for me. So I've, I've done an upcycling uh, project with mine and. You can get by these cork lights. They're like the wire lights, but with a cork on the end. So you can just place in like that. Now, I've done some um, some uh, projects for a lady near where I live, and she um, had one made for me last Christmas because I helped um, in a Christmas craft fair for her. And um, I thought, oh, that's lovely. You know, when I see um, the magazine, I thought, oh, 
what am I going to do? What is what is different? So this is what I thought of. Um, yeah, and the and these lights are blue, so I thought it was like a frost, you know, like a frosty morning or something like that. You know, you get the chill factor in like winter that time of year. So what I've done was I've um, got some Mod Podge and I bought a matte one and then I put some um, uh, white acrylic paint in it to make it look like it's frosted. So this is just one coat on at the moment, that bit hasn't got any on so that's what I'm going to do now. I'll put a, some information on where I got get these from anyway. So, oh. I used um, I used a paintbrush to put my Mod Podge on and it took me ages. The time I'd finished going round it was already dry and well this is because I've only gone lightly this is um, already dry as well but I went and got myself because I see somebody else this is probably going oh sorry clanking the bottle I like to keep it on the glass mat too because you can get it off easily um, she, um, I was watching another lady on YouTube and she used one of these foam brushes so I went out of the morning and, and got myself one so I've probably got too much on me now so what I just do is just drag it down and try and do it in one in one go just like that in one direction and try and get it as even as you can But don't worry too much because we're going to be sticking like I've, uh, as you can see on my mat i've already cut out some uh that's why so you can't really see them really but that is there we go that's white snowflakes and um blue ones and i also i managed to i did manage to stick on vellum ones as well because i I thought oh, vellum might look quite nice as well. So, and do it right up to here because when we get to, oh, let me turn it down. When we get up to this bit, we're going to put some more uh, mud podge on, and um, I thought baker's twine in uh, blue and white baker's twine that would look that would go with the rest of the stuff I've got as well. Right, let's just um, lay that down and see. Don't roll off. No. Stay there. Let's just... That's it. I've got a lolly stick, what I use for mixing up this um, Mod Podge stuff. So I don't really want it really covered covered, not a thick layer. I just want it... So it's slightly over. Um, I think I'll start from here first and drip it down onto the desk. And once you've um, done a couple of coats, if you think you want it a bit um, so you can't see um, just put another coat on if you want it a bit thicker it doesn't take long to um, dry either quite a uh, quick project as well well once you've once you've got everything ready like you know you do your die cutting and and whatnot it's quite quick so 
about in the UK um, at the beginning of summer those um, bottle lights were in a UK supermarket but I didn't get mine from there and I think they were like the white ones but I think they do do them in um, all different colours as well but um, I'll leave in the comments where I got them from and you can have a look if you're wishing to make something like this As I say, it does dry quite quickly. Just make sure. As you can see, I'm no good at decorating. <laughs> but I didn't. When I when I done it, I didn't want it to be perfect because I just wanted it to um, cover the bottle, but not too much. Let's just have a look. So I've already that's what I wanted it like so that it didn't um, I might have to go down there because it looks like I've pulled some off yeah so I like to have my lights in so I can see um, how well it looks to see whether I want any more coverage on there or not. Uh, let me just get something just to wipe that off. And of course, once you've done the sides, you can always do the bottom as well. That's the beauty of a glass mat. It just just has got to remember, don't plank about too much. Right, so because that is Mod Podge, um, what I done was I, I did stick I did stick oh see I've got to move that round I put some Mod Podge onto the snowflakes and just now I don't mind getting my fingers dirty and it and it does wash off in warm water. I've just dropped a snowflake. <laughs> right. And I don't like I don't mind getting messy. And all, all I'm doing is just um covering lightly. So you can just go over with your paintbrush and just stick them on. Like so, if I bring that other droopy there. Okay, so um, let's not do another um, blue one, we'll do a white one. It's harder to see where you've put the stuff on these ones as well, on the white. Try and do them a bit random as well. I 
and I did um, the other one I done I did manage to get vellum on here but it didn't like it I must admit but um, well I'll give it a go and it did take a little bit longer because vellum's really quite tricky isn't it Just turn that round a bit. I think the secret of this is is to let things dry as well. And if you do lift some off, like the Mod Podge and paint, once it's dry, you can just go over with a thinner layer. So I'm just gonna. Try and get that to stay down. Like I say, it doesn't like to, but... Just keep going over. Day. Yeah, um, where I've where it's not dry, you can see that I'm starting to take it off. But so you do need to let it dry in between coats. But that's easy remedied. Don't don't worry. Um, what we got? We got um, a blue one up there. So if we put another one of these white ones. And I didn't put too many on either. Otherwise, because um, I just wanted it to look like. Well, I tried to get it as natural as possible. Really, I suppose. I, I suppose that was what I was looking for. Uh, let's have a look. My lolly stick is stuck to me. Um, let's put one about there, shall we? The card stocks um, seems to stick better than the vellum. Get off of there. I'll have a blue one down here. So this is the first time I've actually had a go at doing something like this and you know you, you know um, you sort of have an idea and you don't really know whether it's going to work or not do you but uh, we come down here I think I'm just going to spread that out a little bit It's not looking too bad. Considering I'm trying to 
trying to uh, get well up one of these white ones down there I think so for some more of this I think we'll come just there. Now I'm going to try another vellum one up here, I think. These are the tricky ones. It, it doesn't like getting wet, does it? It sort of curls up. Doesn't like doing what it's told to be doing. On my other one, I did put um, the smaller snowflakes round there, but I think this one I'm going to dot in between the spaces, I think, because I've got some uh, smaller, I've got two white ones together there, but I'm going to try and put a blue one somewhere, just above there maybe. I think we need another blue one there too. those ones down there in blue it's just these little four dishes are handy We'll have a white one up here so, as well. 
I think that's enough of sticking on some snowflakes. Right. It's coming off even as, um, as I'm, I'm rubbing my fingers together and it's coming off. Right. Um, Still got quite a bit there. <laughs> and I find the end of the twine. I mean, you don't have to um, uh, keep your cork in, but I find that because I've got the arthritis, I find it hard to hold, hold my hands up, hold my arms up, so that's why I've kept it in there. I'm just going to push that down just a little bit. I think we need a bit more there. Right, I would keep going until you come up to the end of there. I'm going to stop there because it's going to be getting boring. So I'm going to just snip it off or leave it like it is. And then the next thing is, I would give this another light coat of... I might just have to... Get rid of that one, put that on there. Let's put a little bit of um, a little bit of paint in.
and just give your bottle another coat of this. You might have to be careful of those um, vellum ones. Got another volume in there. I suppose it doesn't really matter if they stick up a little bit either because, um, well, I've never seen them up close laying on the ground, but they wouldn't actually, um, be flat, would they? Snowflakes are not flat. When you see when you see them um, magnified in real life, so it just um, covers up slightly. A bit more. And. Um, it makes the cardstock not, uh, not so bright. Because I'm trying to get that Right. Oh. Leave it alone, Jelly. <laughs> now, when that has finished drying, um, what I done was. I used up some of my gems, some of these ones, and I stuck in the middle of, because um, these come in three sizes, so I, I stuck these on here, but obviously you would have to wait until it's dry. So I've got one there. Okay, but any gems that you've got in your stash, that's not going to come off of my finger now. Any gems that you've got in your stash, um, you can put on there. And that's how I made that um, glass bottle. So, and it comes on like that, so it doesn't look, um, obviously that needs a bit more touch up on there as well. But it, it looks frosted, doesn't it? Like a cold morning, like, like snowfall. Like when you see it and it's really coming down like a blizzard. So I thought I'd just share that project with you. I'm going to go now and finish it off. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye bye for now. <laughs>